Next question is from Junin87. I have days where I just straight up don't get hungry, even if I worked out. Should I force feed myself to get my proper caloric or macro intake? Or just listen to my body and stomach and not eat as much. This reminds me, we just had a question about like, and we remember we talked about the whole clock thing and I was bringing up how time is like this made up thing that we all made up. All oh, right. This is a, this is an example of how this. We got philosophical. <laughs> did, did we really? I mean, I, 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 the point time is a time doesn't work. Yeah. It's well, not real. well, it isn't right. It's something that we, we have made up, it's right? Illusion. It, it's something that we have made up. We've created these 24 hour days, seven days a week, but the truth is, like your your body doesn't know different. And if you're and if you're not hungry, it's not a big deal if you don't eat. Uh, I bet you the next day you're going to be a lot more hungry than you were before. Yeah. So, now, now that being said, if you find that this is a problem and your health is suffering as a result, you're underweight, nutrient yeah, intake point. is low. Uh, look at your health. Uh, poor appetite. Um, in, in the way I'm talking about it, not a normal appetite where sometimes you eat more, sometimes you eat less, but rather a, a poor appetite that's actually affecting your health, like I said, with your nutrient intake and your underweight and all that stuff, um, it, there's an underlying cause. Uh, poor appetite is a very strong signal that something is not right. It could be a hormone imbalance. It could be gut health issues. It could be mental or psychological. Oftentimes, people are, uh, there's a tremendous amount of stress or anxiety that they might not even be aware of, or maybe you are, and that'll strongly affect your appetite. So you could also be overtraining. You know, um, one of the signs of overtraining is actually loss of appetite. You work out too much, you'll find that your appetite. In fact, when I would train clients, there were three signs I would look for mm. that would tell me that we were on the right track. One was easy. Uh, are you getting stronger? If you're getting stronger, that's phenomenal. The other one, if your appetite's going up. So when my, my clients would tell me, Oh man, I'm like hungrier. I feel like I'm hungrier. Like that's a good sign. And then the third one was libido. Their libido would go up. And I knew if those three those three three things hit, we were doing great. So poor appetite can be a sign that there's some underlying issue. In which case, I would recommend you go see a functional uh, can. But I would say that wouldn't you agree that this is probably a small smaller percentage? I think a majority of people. Yeah, this person might be one of those people that's like, I got to pack on muscle. I need to eat this many calories, but I'm yeah. not hungry enough to eat it. Yes. In which case, you're just not listening and, to your and, body. And honestly, that was, and I like talking, speaking to this because I struggled with this for so many years. Being a kid that was mm -hmm. uh, insecure about being skinny, I wanted to be more muscular and put muscle on. I, and I knew what, I figured out what my macro targets were. And if I did not get there or I was at the end of the day and I was missing my macro targets, I was stuffing my face mm -hmm. with peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Yeah, it was a and, chore just to try and get the calories right, in. Because I thought if I didn't do it, then all that hard work I did the previous weeks to build muscle, it would start falling off yep. my body right away. Yeah. And it, it, your, your metabolism doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. It does not want to burn up and use muscle tissue. So you do not have to worry about if you have a day or two where you miss macro targets that you're going to lose your gains or lose muscle and more than likely that appetite will come back up within 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, if you don't have a roaring appetite, I would look into your training protocol and like really like assess whether or not, you know, that's, you know, promoting something that's that's going to get you in a healthy place where your metabolism should want to, you know, rev up a bit. Yeah, boy, is this really depend on who you're talking to, doesn't it? I know. It? It's oh, like, yeah. like Adam you're speculating. If what Adam's talking about is totally different and I 100% agree. If you're that guy or girl and then I'd say, just listen to your body. You're, you're, I think you're overdoing it. You're overthinking it. If you're, if you have underlying health issues and you really do have a poor appetite, then it's a totally different conversation. So it That's really true. does depend on on who you are.